Anyo hasio, welcome to Happy Moments. Today we are going to look at two resorts in Korea. Today we are going to compare Everland with Lotte World. We are going to find out which of these two is better to visit. Which of these two should you visit first? If you do not have time to visit both, let us find out. I used to work at Samsung Electronics headquarters in Suwon, and I have been to Everland and Lotte World multiple times. So I can guide you through. Let us fly to Korea, my favorite destination. We are going to answer the question which of these two theme parks is the better one. So let us talk about Lotte World first. Let's go. Lotte World is primarily an indoor theme park. It has four floors. One of the sections is outdoor. It is called Magic Island. You can take a monorail that you can see in this video. This will help you cover the entire park and give you a bird's eye view of all the themes, all the activities and all the rides that are there both in the indoor section as well as in the outdoor section. Look, you can also see the reflection of the monorail in which we are riding. It is simply amazing. It is very very beautiful. You should take this monorail when you are going to Lotte World. Now we are moving towards the outdoor section that is the magic island. Look at the outdoor section. It is also amazing. See? You can see all the activities that are happening, all the restaurants, the I could spot some Disney characters in this parade such as the Little Mermaid, Mickey, Minnie and so on. It makes me feel that Lotte World is like the Korean version of Disney World.
having done with Lotte World. Now let us talk about Everland. Are you ready? Everland looks particularly beautiful during the spring season as well as in the autumn season because of the colors of the trees, the different hues, the different colors of the leaves. It's really pretty. Again, it's full of several photo opportunities for you. Several food options are available as well. I found this pizza really tasty. Make sure not to do this just after having a pizza. <laughs> Like Lotte World, Everland also comes to light as the sun sets. Look at this parade. It was simply amazing. It was enjoyable. In the distance, you can see the largest roller coaster in Asia, T Express. Can you see that in the distance? But we are doing a smaller roller coaster here. In the Lost Valley, we got the opportunity to feed giraffes with our own hands. It was just wow! Meanwhile, the parade continued in the darkness of the night. At night, Everland transforms itself into a dazzling wonderland and a land of fireworks, of lights shimmering in the darkness, of theater, of sound and mesmerizing magic. In India, we have a festival called Diwali. It is the festival of lights. At that night, my friends and I, we all felt that we had the best Diwali of our life. Guys, I am sharing with you two travel hacks and secrets at the end of this video. So do watch this video till the very end. So here is my take on Everland and Lotte World. So I feel that Lotte World is more like Disneyland. On the other hand, Everland has so much to do for all age groups. Whether you are a child or you are an adult, there are so many options in Everland. Everland is an outdoor theme park, whereas Lotte World is more of an indoor theme park. Lotte World as I said, it's more like Disneyland. You know, Everland is amazing. It has Zootopia. Within Zootopia, you'll find Lost Valley, you'll find the Safari, you'll find many animals, even the giraffes. One day ticket for Everland is 54,000 won, which is obviously higher than one way ticket for Lotte World which is 36,000 won but still I would say that Everland is offering you great value for money. Well, I should give credits to Lotte World as well. Their gyro drop, gyro swing and several other rides uh, in the outdoor park they are excellent. Well Lotte World has its own advantages. It is the largest theme park or largest indoor theme park in Asia and it also has one of the largest ice skating rinks in Asia. So you really cannot compare the two. All I'm saying is if you have less time, go for Everland because it has more options. It also has a zoo, it has so many animals like giraffes, it has exciting rides like XT Express. So you should not give that a miss. First go to Everland, then go to Lotte World if you have the time.
In conclusion, I would say Everland is far, far better than Lotte World, especially if you have less time. If you have more time, then visit both of them. All right, guys. I want to make it clear that it is not a paid promotion. These parks are not paying me anything. I am just making this video to help you guys out, so that you make a wiser decision which park to visit, especially if you have less time. What most people don't know about is that you can actually skip the long queue. Yes, you can buy the queue pass or the magic pass, both in Everland and Lotte World, to skip the long queues. Reserve your queue pass. You can buy it online, or you can just go there and buy it from the ticket counter. It's really helpful. It saves your time, and you can actually visit the whole park in one day if you have the queue pass. That is a must buy. That is must to have. Hey guys, I forgot to mention that you can obviously get some discounts, especially if you are connected to anyone in Samsung Electronics headquarters and so on. They get huge discounts both at Everland and Caribbean Bay. In Lotte World, we do not get much discount, but in Everland and Caribbean Bay, you can get the ticket for as low as 2,000 won. So, you should definitely talk to your Samsung friends in Korea. Hey guys, if you love this video, please like it and share it. You can also subscribe to my channel to see such kind of videos in future. Kamsam Nada, thank you so much for watching. See you soon.